Havana, the Caribbean Babylon didn't get its name by chance. Altogether, two million Spanish, Indian, African, Chinese, Mulatto, and other peoples live here together in peace. The Metro bus, a long bus pulled by a semi-trailer, holds 200 people at a time, transporting them throughout the city, which spans 45 kilometers. It's the biggest settlement in Central America. Fortunately, the tourist sites are limited to a smaller territory than this in the Viejo Habana, Centro Habana, and Vedado city regions. Sought by everyone, relics of the colonial past can be found in the old town Viega. Outside the former city wall, in the middle of a monumental park, the building of the Capitolio can be found. This huge palace with a white dome is the symbol of the American influence. It was built in 1929, taking the capital in Washington as a model. Due to its designer's healthy Cuban self-confidence, it was built to be one meter higher than the original. It served as the Parliament of the Cuban Republic for three decades. In one of its wings, the House of Representatives, in the other wing, the Senate was in session. After the victory of the revolution, a new function was given it, and today it is the seat of the Cuban Scientific Academy. Because there is a lot of room left in it, the Museum of Natural Science and the Planetarium were also set up here. The 208-meter-wide facade looks onto Marti Esplanade, which is always busy and broadens to become a square. Exploring the real beauties of a city can be done best on foot, but sightseeing can also be continued by hailing a cab. In the street opening opposite, we can find El Floridita, which is a bar and a restaurant in one and is one of the most popular in Havana. The determining elements of the panorama of Havana are the American old-timers. In the 1950s, Americans not only bought real estate here, but they also brought their cars, which were the most modern at that time. After the revolution, Fidel nationalized the cars too. They belong to the national heritage. They're not for sale, even if the collector had paid huge amounts for a chromed Oldsmobile or a